So um, on February 9th, 2017, SpaceX launched their CRS-10 payload on the Falcon 9 rocket. Several minutes after launching, the first stage landed back at Kennedy Space Center. This was the sixth successful landing of the Falcon 9 first stage in the demonstration of one of the many technical challenge that SpaceX has provided a specific solution to that can be applied to the Mars mission, which they're working towards accomplishing in the mid-2020s. So SpaceX plans to be the first organization to put men on Mars and they can bring them back. This is beneficial in many ways because it is a major technological achievement and pushes the limits of what our modern technology is capable of doing, as well as advancement will benefit from the research put into the project and the research done on Mars. I've always been interested in science exploration and the engineering behind it. If SpaceX is successful, this may be one of the major scientific, uh, technological milestones of our lifetimes. Um, so there's a number of reasons why we should put humanity on Mars. Uh, the progression of technology has always allowed us to develop the equipment and fuel necessary uh, to make Mars travel viable for humans, as well as interplanetary travel be relatively cheap. Okay, so like, why do you think we should go to Mars? Uh, life should be made multi-planetary as a backup plan for the future, but, like so if or when we run out of Earth resources. With current technology and progression, we are now able to return to Earth from Mars, more expected than later in the time. And we'll be talking about this more later. Um, overpopulation is obviously an issue here on Earth. If any of you know like Morelli Mascara, you may remember like the tragedy of the commons where unrestricted and uncontrolled use of resources leads to, de to depletion. Uh, so traveling to Mars enables new scientific discoveries and advancements. Uh, being able to transport a full rocket and crew to the planet allows for much more analysis and science to be conducted directly on Mars. Uh, man has always had a desire to explore the unknown, but only relatively, at least recently, have we discovered the technologically impossible to go beyond our own planet, um, which, which now brings us to the second point. Uh, modern technology and new advances in technology and engineering enable us to be able to go to Mars and return to Earth instead of being only a one-way trip. Reusable rocket energy uh, enables refueling in orbit. So most of the energy in normal rockets launches is spent getting out of the Earth's gravitational force. Oh, so by comparison to Saturn V using Apollo launches, it burned 2 million pounds of fuel in the first two minutes, just getting its 6.5 million pounds of weight off of Earth. So you can see the comparison here on the, the picture on the bottom of the screen. So the second one is from the second one from the right is Saturn V. So reusable rockets also allow for multiple trips. Um, much more easily instead of developing a new rocket for every single trip. Refueling in orbit, um, much more, it makes it much more easily to enable and reuse rockets. Reusable rocket cycles, uh, launch boosters, lays back down on Earth again, payload attached to booster and launch again. So Falcon 9 rockets have been invented six times successfully, both on anonymously controlled ships, and more recently on a landing pad at Jason Space Center has shown um, in this video on the next slide. So, hopefully this works, yeah. So right there you can see, this is like the actual video of about one or two weeks ago. Use a variety of fuels 
but has most common in SpaceX for Falcon 9 and RP1 kerosene and liquid oxygen. Sure. Sure. So here's the chemical like equation here that you can see. So the use, uh, these technological advancements are both key factors for the next uh, point, reducing the cost of marsh travel. Okay, so uh, traveling to Mars can be made relatively cheap through the use of economic um, of steel. So current rockets launches are very expensive, are very expensive with single-use boosters, tankers, and ships. A uh, total Mars rocket would cost 560 million in fabrication costs alone. Um, and by comparison, the rocket launching the Curiosity rover to Mars costs 700 million to build, build launch, and maintain. So by comparison, it's much smaller, hence like. So with boosters, tankers, and ships being able to raise up to 1,112 times respectively, the total cost can be brought down to 62 million per trip um, to Mars. So it's cheaper now for the Falcon 9 rocket to um, have a low Earth orbit before price and scale optimization. So SpaceX has a number of competitors, including NASA, United Launch, Alalis, Blue Origin, so NASA is also developing a space launch system for reaching Mars. Um, these competitors use different systems that don't allow for use of their rocket. Competitors provide some criticisms for SpaceX dreams being possibly too large and grand to come to um, able to happen. However, it seems that the only barrier in the interdisciplinary transport system today is it's still going to cost of approximately 10 million. Um, so in summary, Multi-planetary life is a step forward for humanity and putting humanity on Mars also enables us to progress as a whole. Technology like reusable rockets and on-site propellant synthesis has been developed, contributing to this goal. Mars travel can um, also be cheap as production and launch of the planetary transport system has increased, also taking into account its reusability. So Mars explosionation, maybe one day colonization was once thought to be a far off dream. But now with SpaceX efforts, it may become a reality within our lifetime. Uh, an, an enormous amount of work has already gone into developing SpaceX current Falcon 9 rockets, and they'll only build upon success. Both in launches and working for a usual and self-landing boost, uh, boosters with their first commercial launch, with a usable booster coming up in a week. Thank you.